Curious. Welcome back to the channel. Monica Love here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing your reading for April and this is going to be a general reading so it's not going to resonate with every single person that watches it. If it does resonate with you there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Sagittarius I am going to start off your reading with an important oracle a love message that you need to hear moving forward. So your message is nature for the month of April, nature. Okay. And it says ground yourself, find a sanctuary in nature, connect with the elements. Okay. With the elemental, the ele elementals. Okay. So there's a need for you to ground yourself in this time, okay? I feel like there's a lot going on for you right now. There's a lot of transitions and transformations that are happening in your life, and there's a need for you to ground, okay? Really get in touch with um, the earth, nature. Spend more time outside is what this is telling me, okay? So let's get into your reading, Sagittarius. I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future. I'm going to clarify the cards for you and pull some advice. Your challenge for the month of April, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Wands, which you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So your challenge for this coming April is the Seven of Wands. Okay. There's a lot of resistance that's happening here. Some of you are dealing with maybe another fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, or this could just be you experiencing a lot of resistance um, in general in your life. Okay. This is why there's a need to ground. This is why there's a need for you really to get in touch with nature and not allow um, the things of the world to affect you. Okay. Grounding yourself is going to be extremely important in the month of April. Okay. So let's talk about the past. In the past, Sagittarius, you have the Nine of Cups, you have the Eight of Swords, and you have the Justice. Something here in the past needed to be set right, okay, um, because of a decision that was made. Possibly someone here really... Intuitively, I'm getting someone here was really focused on themselves with the Nine of Cups here. Um, and this really didn't lead to the satisfaction that somebody wanted. Okay, so whoever this was could be you, could have been you, could have been your person. Someone here was really focused on self-satisfaction um, self as opposed to the the whole. Okay, the justice is about the whole system, the whole entire relationship connection. Um, with the Justice card, we have the scales here, which represent the relationship. It re represents the two um, dualities of a relationship, okay? So the masculine and the feminine. But someone here was really focused on themselves. And this, all this did was lead to um, an energy of feeling stuck in the past, okay? So this is what I see here in the past. In the present moment, Sagittarius, you have the Ten of Wands, you have the Two of Cups, and you have the Queen of Swords. Something in your life in the present moment is a burden okay it's a lot of work um there's a lot of responsibilities here in the present moment and this could be connected to a relationship okay some of you are dealing with an aquarius here i'm getting maybe a water sign cancer scorpio pisces leo maybe another sagittarius okay so there's something here about a relationship that's coming to your attention in the present moment in the near future, Sagittarius, you have the Lovers, the Two of Swords, and the Tower. There's definitely a transformation that's happening here, and someone is super closed off to this transformation that is very much needed. Okay, we're going to see why this is. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Sagittarius, is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, the Magician in reverse, the Five of Swords in reverse, and the Moon in reverse. Something here is being revealed to you. 
could have a lot to do with investments or maybe some sort of partnership here, maybe a job. Something here is being revealed to you and whatever is being revealed um, could have a lot to do with something here that's no longer working. Something that you possibly need to let go of. Um, it seems like you're, you're losing a lot from this situation, but it's very evident here that something is being revealed that is outside of your control. And this is why there's a lot of resistance. There's a lot of resistance, okay? So we're going to clarify Sagittarius and get more information for you on this. So the first card I'm going to clarify for you, Sagittarius, is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is clarified by the Five of Swords, the Eight of Wands, and the Three of Cups. I feel like your challenge has a lot to do with you communicating with someone, okay? I feel like in April, there is going to be a time where um, you and this person are going to communicate. It's definitely someone from your past. It's definitely someone who you have history here with. There's a lot of things that need to be resolved between you and this person. And I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with, either this could be you um, being resistant to... Um, towards this person or it could be your person being resistant towards you and this has a lot to do with communicating some sort of issues that happen between you and this person there's been a lot of cutthroat energy cutthroat vibes that I'm getting here um, so again there's a lot of things that are happening here in a past relationship that are out of your control this is why there's a need for you to ground yourself okay and be in nature and um, and I've been getting this message for a lot of the signs, not trying to control the situation. Allow the messages, allow the uh, messages to come in. And instead of being resistant to these messages, um, find a way how to possibly deal with these messages in a cordial way, meaning a more calm and rational way. You know, the swords in tarot often talk about logic, but the five of swords is... A different type of logic it's not the calm you know grounded type of logic it's the you know what do I need to do to get what I want type of energy so if you are coming across to someone like this okay or they're coming across to you like this there's a need to kind of reevaluate the way in which you're approaching situations if you want them to have a different outcome okay so this is what I'm seeing a little bit of resistance for you but if you're able to kind of approach the situation in a different type of way I see a different type of result okay all right so let's talk about the past Sagittarius I'm going to clarify the eight of swords in the past So the Eight of Swords is clarified by the Two of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like in the past there was a lot of confusion about a relationship, okay? There was a major change that was happening within your relationship in the past. There was a lot of confusion, okay? And this confusion may have led to a lot of self-indulgence from one of you in the past. Um, someone here wanted to set things right, okay? They wanted to come out of this place of overindulgence, um, <clears throat> feeling stuck within the connection, Let's clarify the justice card. What was set right here in the past for you? So the justice is clarified by the king of swords, the two of swords and the death. Someone here started to open up in the past, okay? They started to really let go of something here and they started to open up. They started to have um, this very logical perspective on things in the past, which really led to changes happening in the connection for you, 
okay? And this eventually brought a lot of satisfaction because both you and this person were able to let go of something that really wasn't facilitating any sort of forward movement um, in your relationship, okay? So I'm really getting that there was a, tra a major transformation that happened in the past. Maybe there was even a, a, a brief period where you and this person um, took time apart, you know, just to kind of rebalance and bring things back into balance within the connection in the past, okay? Now, in the present moment, you have the Ten of Wands. There's something here that's a burden. It's really heavy. There's a lot of responsibilities here. Let's clarify and see what the Ten of Wands is all about. So the Ten of Wands is clarified by the Six of Cups, the Five of Cups, and the Three of Swords. For many of you, you're still overcoming some sort of situation that really affected your connection, okay? So even though there is a very strong bond here between you and this person, and it's definitely a bond that can't be denied, you both know that this is a strong connection. This is why you both um, keep coming back to one another. I'm really getting with the five of cups here. Something here was never resolved. And this is why it's become a lot of work for you in order to overcome this pain and this situation. Okay. And it's definitely in connection with your relationship. So I feel like there is a person, maybe this is your person here, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, who is showing up to have this conversation with you about how... Um, you and them can possibly remove the pain because there is still pain here. And the Five of Cups talks about there still being a possibility to um, recoup the relationship. So for many of you in the present moment, there is this desire from not only you, but from your person as well too, to fix the connection, to really root it in nature, to bring grounding to this connection because it isn't grounded. This is why you have the five of cups here, because there are things that haven't been resolved between you and this person. So what is it that your person wants to tell you, Sagittarius? Let's see what the queen of swords is here. So the Queen of Swords is clarified by the Page of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Nine of Swords. This person is letting you know that they're, that whatever's happening in their life right now is not easy. They are going through a lot of fear and anxiety about where this connection's going. Okay, this person is also viewing you right now. I'm really getting a strong energy of how this person's viewing you as being childish. Okay, whether you're doing this or your person's doing it, your person wants to address some sort of childish behaviors. Okay, if it's not childish behavior, it could be... Um, you know, something about children. For some of you, maybe you have a child with this person. Whatever it is, there's something here that needs to be resolved within your connection in the present moment because of the amount of love and, um, you know, connection that you and this person have. There's a strong connection here, but it's a lot of work for you to maintain it is what it's telling me. And it could be because of things that you and this person need to address in the connection. So let's see what needs to be addressed in the connection with the Two of Cups right now. So what needs to be addressed, okay, here in the present moment with the Two of Cups, which is clarified by the Star, the Devil, and the Seven of Pentacles, someone here really needs to figure out what they're going to do moving forward. There's a lot of toxic behavior within the connection that needs to be let go of. Maybe there is a lot of drinking. Maybe there's alcohol, drugs. Maybe there's an, um, a sex addiction here. There's something here that needs to be cleared, which is the Devil energy, before moving forward. Okay, I feel like your person is really thinking long and hard, Sagittarius, before they continue to invest in this connection for the future, okay? So this is what I feel like needs to be addressed. Let's talk about the near future, okay? Let's talk about the near future. I'm going to clarify the tower here. Someone is resistant to change in the near future. Someone is resistant to change in the near future here with the tower. Why is this? The tower is clarified by the strength, the nine of pentacles and the hermit. Someone really um, is starting to feel that maybe um, they need to focus on their independence. They need to focus on themselves here. 
okay, in the near future. And this is the problem. Someone doesn't want to confront themselves. They don't want to confront what needs to change within themselves. But here's the thing. You know, if you want to have a successful relationship, you want to have a successful, beautiful union, bond, twin flame, soulmate energy, then you need to work on yourself. You need to be willing to confront some sort of changes here. Because if you don't confront these changes, they're going to just happen. They're going to be forced. Okay, the tower talks about force. Um, when something crumbles, you know, when the, when the floor actually falls uh, beneath your feet, it's not something that you can control. It's very unexpected. So someone here is resistant to self-improvement or self-change, but they're going to be forced to do this, okay? And while this is happening in the near future, for many of you, whoever this person is, whether this is you or your person, okay, um, you're really going to be closed off to a lot of people in the near future because of this transformation that is happening. It's almost being forced. But what this is also doing, Sagittarius, is it's preparing you for union. It's preparing you for the union that you've been seeking and that you've wanted. This doesn't come easy. It will happen when you're ready for it, which means confronting your fears and the things that you need to work on within yourself. So I do see some sort of delay in... Um, creating or manifesting what it is that you want okay and that's only because you need to start working on yourself this is what you're being called to do and not to be resistant to the changes that are being presented to you in your life okay so let's get some advice for you Sagittarius what is the advice The advice here is to remember what it is that you're working towards, okay? The Ten of Cups, the Six of Cups, and the Hierophant. If this marriage or commitment that you're in means a lot to you, then you then you will work on yourself because this is the reward. Happiness, being with the one that you love and ultimately having a commitment. But the work has to be put in first before this happens, okay? So Sagittarius, this is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.